12 common fitness questions, rapid fire. Number one, is weight training and resistance training the same thing? Weight training would be more, probably more iron and free weights, whereas resistance training could be anything. Bands, body weight, iron. So that's the difference between weight training and resistance training, basically the same thing. Is it strength training better than cardio? For what? I always say for what is better than the other, it always depends on your goal. So if you're trying to get stronger, then strength training will be better for you than cardio. But if you're trying to maybe shed a couple pounds, work on your health, work on your heart, then cardio would be better. But both should be done in a program. What exercises are most important when getting started? Getting started. So doing anything such as walking, push-ups, you know, swimming, biking, anything is gonna be better than nothing. What type of resistance training? What type of resistance training is best for fat loss? Resistance training is great in general, but I would always recommend a multi-joint movement such as a bent over row or a squat to press. That way you're working multiple muscle groups in the body and then you're gonna burn more calories doing so. What should what equipment should I buy for home? My top three pieces of equipment for home is an adjustable pair of dumbbells, so you have different ranges for your weights, a set of bands, so you can do shoulder work, you can do a lot of rehab work, you can go light, you can go heavier, and then a med ball. So a medicine ball, you can do core, you can do a lot of rehab stuff as well, prehab stuff, and a lot of circuit training. So those are the three I would recommend. Should I consider using a personal trainer? Yes. Why? I believe personal trainers are good for accountability. A lot of times we don't work out by ourselves, obviously, so it helps hiring someone or even getting a, a friend to help us stay accountable onto our program and keep us on track to hitting our goals. How much weight should I lift? This is dependent on you, but if you're trying to get stronger, this is the main thing that I wanna get across, is that if you're hitting 12 reps, go up in weight. If you're trying to get stronger and you're doing an exercise and you can hit 12 reps, go up in weight. How many sets and reps should I do? For beginners, I would say two to three sets is great, about 10, 10 12 reps. If you're more advanced again and trying to go more strength, then you can go maybe three, four, five sets and go anywhere between you know six to eight reps, maybe even going down to five. How often should I strength train? If you have a very busy schedule, a very time uh, physical labor job, I would say three times is great. But if you work in a desk and you don't have very high physical activity in your job, I would highly recommend that you work out five to six days a week. Make sure that you have equal rest in between. Should I eat more protein when weight training? Yes. So when you're weight training, your body's gonna break down your muscle tissue, which you're gonna need to rebuild by eating more protein. So I would recommend anywhere between 0.7 and one gram per pound of body weight, you should be eating in protein per day. Should I stretch before or after I strength train? I always recommend doing both, but before your stretching isn't gonna be the same as it is after. Before, your stretch is gonna be more dynamic, it's gonna be more movements, it's gonna be more you know, high knees, skips, stuff like that. Whereas after your body's warmed up, now you can do that long, static, hold for 30 seconds stretch. Kind of think about Laffy Taffy, that old candy that we used to eat in Halloween. When it's cold and we try to stretch it, it'll snap. But if we put it in the microwave a little bit, not sure if you ever did that, and it gets a little warm, now it gets stretchy, and you're able to stretch it out. Think of the same way as your muscles. Once we're warm, it's easier to stretch. Is it safe for women to strength train? 100 million percent. Women have been strength training for a while now. It's been getting more popular ever since about 1940s, 1950s, then really spiked in 1970s when they started kind of using the commercial gyms, started becoming bodybuilders. Women's strength training is amazing. And I wanna preface this, should they be training differently? I don't agree. I don't think so. I think women and men have very similar adaptations to when it comes to strength training, when it comes to strength building. Sure, some exercises might be a little more of a preference, but in terms of should I train completely different or should I do a completely different program, I think that women can do the same programs as men. So those are the top, so those are the common, so those are 12 common fitness questions. Hope this helped. If it did, give it a like down below and comment your question and I'll answer the next video.